New players, veterans, and even pro players of Rocket League all know what it feels like to mess up. Whether it's a pass, a shot, or a block that gets the failed seal of denial, everyone has these moments, especially when you're brand new to the game. So what is the key factor that determines your success and speed of growth as you continue to play and learn how to get good, as they say? The answer lies in mastering your fundamentals. If you feel like you are stuck, where you can't ever get anything to work, all you need to do is put some time into working on those weak points. This game will really reward the time and effort that you put into it. In fact, there are all kinds of training modes in Rocket League. They're all very useful for improving your skills and learning new techniques. And if you haven't spent any time in training yet, you really should check it out. So let's take a tour of the different training modes. For newer players who haven't started training yet, go to play and then select Training. All the way to the right is Tutorial. Do the Beginner and then the Advanced. This will explain all the necessary elements that you may or may not have missed so far. After that, there are three core training packs that focus on Shooting, Goalie, and Aerials. Start out by selecting Rookie and work your way up to Pro and then All-Star. If you really want to see your skills improve, then you'll need to run through these several times throughout different sessions, with the goal of getting through the packs quicker and with more accuracy. Once you feel ready to move on to more difficult shots, try the next level, and advance through those the same way. Everyone will progress through these at their own pace. It's up to you to decide when you are ready for the next level. Now it's time to check out the custom training packs. These are great, and there are so many different packs to use. There are packs focusing on silver to gold basics, platinum to diamond, and even champion and grand champion level packs. There is something for everyone. Don't be afraid to work on things that you're terrible at. Just keep trying. Eventually, you will get it right that first time, and then from then on, you will continue to get better at getting it right until you're getting it right just about every time. That's when you know it's time to focus on another area. This is how you get better. Use the reset shot button to your advantage because these packs are set up to help you get used to specific situations that may happen in a match. And when it does, you'll know what to do because you've trialed and errored the heck out of that scenario. And your muscle memory will kick in and you'll be able to make that amazing play or shot happen in a real match. Next, I want to talk about free play mode. This is a great way to just mess around and feel what it's like to control the car in the air or to drill a specific technique until you get really good at it and really get comfy with your car. You can teach yourself aerial maneuvers, upside down flying, how to set up your own shots, and whatever creative things you can think of. Whatever your schedule is, you should set aside at least five to 10 minutes each time you play to run drills and warm up. What this means is that you will need to spend more time in training and on a more regular basis because learning any new skill takes consistent practice to master. This means the more frequently you train, the faster you will improve and be able to learn more advanced skills. Just know that even though it's not as exciting as playing a normal online match, what you are doing is setting yourself up for success in future matches, which will make the game much more exciting and rewarding for you. I know it has for me. Lastly, I want to mention the Steam Workshop packs. If you play Rocket League on PC using the Steam app, then you have access to hundreds of player-created content and some really awesome maps that are both fun and challenging, and will push you even further up the Rocket League food chain. Now let me show you real quick how to access the workshop. Open up Steam, go to your library, click on Rocket League. Now right over here to the right, you've got the three dots here. Click on that and you've got a list here. Workshop is what you want to select. This will take you to the workshop where you can look around at different maps and decide which ones you might want to try out. Select one and scroll slightly down. If you like it, click on the subscribe button and it'll automatically be downloaded into your game. Now here's a list of my favorite workshop maps. I hope this guide has inspired you to start implementing the training in your Rocket League life, which will speed up your learning curve and lead you to victory on the field.